In this video right here, you are going to learn why you still cannot read without harakat in the Arabic language and how to not experience the situation you're about to see right now. All right, so you just take this and you read it. Dahika, mariha, amila, aqila, hayya, ghadiba. Aqila, hayya, ghadiba. I got it, bro. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum as salam. How you doing, bro? Yeah, right? yeah, I'm good, bro. Just here learning how to read Arabic with uh, the Arabic Lacanara program that I just joined last week. Learning Arabic? No, how to how to read Arabic? Oh, how to read Arabic? You don't know no Arabic, man. Come on, man. I'm te Why would I lie? I know how to read Arabic. I just learned. So you telling me that you know? How to read Arabic. Are you hating, man. I read Arabic. I be reading, reading like. Hey, you don't know no Arabic. All right. Let's see. Let's see, right? You know how to read Arabic, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, read this. <sighs> read, bro. Um, Come on, bro. Read. read. Why are you Why reading? You read it? When you first learn how to read Arabic with the harakat and little by little you start getting faster reading with the harakat, meaning the vowels, you obviously want to jump into the next level and start reading without harakat, right? Because that's what most texts are in the books, etc. But then all of a sudden you take a book or a text without harakat and you start reading and you realize that it's not the same. You went from being able to read Arabic to not being able to read Arabic because there is no vowels. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Muhammad Al Andalusi. I'm the founder of AndalusInstitute.com. And the reason why you cannot read without the harakat is because you don't have Arabic vocabulary. So let me give you an example. I will show you on the screen a text in English. And what I want you to do is pause the video and try and read the text to see if you are able to read the text or not. And then tell me in the comment section if you was able to read the text or not. So was you able to read it? I don't think so. Or maybe you struggle a little bit. But the only reason why you are able to read this is because the words that appear in that text are familiar to you and the context as well. So the context being a, simp a simple context, it makes it easier for you to decipher what words are the ones that appear on the text. So the thing is that this same exact thing happens with other languages as well when, when you're learning a new language. And in this case with the Arabic language, you cannot read without the harakat if you don't know the word itself and if it's not part of your mental dictionary yet. So the same happens when the topic of the text you're trying to read is not a topic you are knowledgeable about, you're not familiar, you don't talk about it every day. Like these two texts that I'm about to show you, so I want you to pause again the, um, the screen and let me know if you are able to, re to read these two texts. Now, I'm pretty sure you have struggled with these two texts. And the reason why is because the topic is not something we speak about every day. So let me know in the comment section and be honest if you have struggled with this. I want to know, uh, you know, what do you guys think about it? Based on what we spoke about, there's two conditions for you to be able to read in Arabic without the harakat, without the vowels. Now, the first one is that you know the words you are reading, like you have memorized them before, you know what it means, and that you understand the topic slash context of what you are reading about. Now, if these two are in place, if these two conditions are in place, then get ready to read Arabic without harakat like a pro. But until then, what you need to focus is on building your vocabulary, and, um, and building your mental dictionary of Arabic. So if you want to know how to do that, inshallah, there is a webinar that, um, that, um, you know, that I explain more in depth on how to do that and how to gain vocabulary and you know, how to basically become fluent Arabic in 15 months. So uh, if you like uh, these type of videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, inshallah. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out the ones upcoming. And uh, let me guys know in the comment sections what you guys thought about this phenomenon of, uh, of how to read without the harakat. 
and uh, I will see you on the next one, inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. Ya talib al-ilmi qum la tanam fa inna al-zaman anqada wa ansaram fa kun ma hayita dhaninan bihi fa dhannuka bil waqti aynu al-karam wa kun hilsa darsika wa afrah bihi ta kun qaidan fi ghadin lil-umam wa badir shababaka min qabli an yuqattia azmaka sayfu al-haram ودع ما استطعت فضول اختلاط وأكل ونوم وقول يذم وصاحب نبي